Greetings and salutations, YouTube land. People back again with another unboxing video. Today I have something very special, and I'm hoping very cool for you. As you know, I'm part of several Facebook groups. One, the Mystery Box Bunker, likes to do a company spotlight of the month. And usually the company offers some sort of exclusive mystery box to people in the bunker. I've, they've been hit or miss. I haven't had the greatest luck so far. Nothing terrible, but nothing, you know? And this month, actually two months because uh, it's run by Box Pop and Beauty and they had the little issue of having a baby in there and it messed up everything like they do. Just kidding. Congrats, guys. Sandra is awesome. So anyway, they ended up doing two months with uh, Marcos, who runs Autograph of the Month Club and 258 West. I can never get that right. And he decided to offer Marcos Crazy Box. There were three different levels. A $40 box, a $125 box, and a $500 box. I wanted to try the $500 one, but Marcos may be crazy, but my wife is not, so I did not. I did, however, end up ordering one of the 40 and one of the 125 I'm assuming they're all packed together. I did get, like, two separate shipping notices or anything. But everything's in here. This thing's actually pretty hefty for the size of it, so I'm really curious what's in here. All right. Enough with the blabbing. Let's get ready for the unboxing. Um, sure, thank you. So I've never ordered anything from uh, either site before. Um, the Autograph of the Month Club is a $20 subscription. And it's generally, like, you know, obviously you're not getting A-listers with that. And it's very hit or miss with if I know the people or not. There's been two where I'm like, oh, that's really cool. I would have loved to have them. Then there's been several where I'm just like, who is that? But, I don't know. I might subscribe to it. I haven't decided. Let's see. Try to get everything out of here. Decent amount in here. A lot in here. Right. Oh, missed one. Okay. Let's see how crazy Marcos is. I've heard some good things, so. Autograph trading card of Kevin McHale. McHale. Name's familiar, but I don't recognize him. Another autograph trading card of Eric Milligan. Ooh, this one was numbered out of 240. Once again, don't know him. Not starting off so hot. Let's see. There's a couple things in here. Hmm. Bonus! Okay, let's see what the bonus is. We have another trading card. Apparently of Doctor Who. Oh, this is from True Blood. Okay. I thought I recognized him. Well, that one's not signed. I liked him a lot. He was uh, Sam. Let's see what the bonus. There's a lot in the bonus. It's a lot in here, period. Wow. Let's see. We have... Morgan Lofting. Ooh, Transformers. Let's 
Well, that's cool. Do love me some 80s cartoons. Ooh, Hunger Games? Oh, Mackenzie Lintz. Um... Oh, it's going to bug the heck out of me which one she was. District 8. Ah, I'm totally blanking on the character, but I love that movie, so that's really cool. Oh, uh, he was on Walking Dead. Oh, Oscar, it's on the back. Not a big part, but cool. As you know, I love Walking Dead, so anybody I can get is always awesome. I think Oscar was the one who was um, with Rick's group in like the first couple episodes. Then he showed up as part of Negan's group later. Really cool twist. If I spoiled it, you should have been watching all along. Alright. And we have... I don't know. Quality Control Reject. I don't recognize the character. Well, that bonus pack was absolutely stuffed, I must say. That's really cool. I'm running out of places to put these things. Alright, let's see. Yeah, so, uh, we have a sample pack from Autograph of the Month Club. Hey, I was just talking about them. So one really cool thing that they did with this that I forgot to mention, they actually sent out a survey asking, like, what you collect, what you like, that sort of thing. Which I try not to destroy this. That was a really, really nice touch on their part. And... I think I did ding the uh, photo a little. So this is from Night at the Museum, Attila the Hun. Unfortunately, I've never seen that movie. I know, I know, I should. I've caught the end of it like 50 times because my parents love it, but I've never actually seen the whole movie. Apparently this guy's been in a bunch of stuff. Not much I've seen, though. <laughs> Neat. Let's see, what's this one? Another sealed one? Hopefully I can do this without damaging it. Trim your fingernails, people. A very big one on the back. Oh, I think. So on the back there, you can see is the immortal Hulk Hogan. That right there is pretty much worth what I paid for both. Hogan is not a cheap signature at all. I have one of him, but it's more of um, a later one. This is like Prime Hulkamania. And it's actually signed Hulk Hogan, which he doesn't do very often. That is an awesome hit. That is exciting. And yes, okay. It took me a minute. This is actually from a show I absolutely love. This is from um, Man in the High Castle. It's an Amazon Prime show, if you haven't seen it. There was four seasons of it. Unfortunately, the ending wasn't great. Very disappointed, but the rest of the show is worth it. The premise is basically it's an alternate timeline where uh, the Nazis and Japan won World War II. And they split control of the U.S. 
He plays a character in the Japanese Pacific States. He's a supporting character in the show, but he's really, really good. So those are two very nice hits. Like I said, I'm running out of room here. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I've gotten everything. I think there's another bonus. Holy Moses. All right, let's see. We got some big guys here. We have Robocop. Signed by... Can't make out the signature. Dude, I've never actually seen this movie. When I was a little too young when it came out, I think there was a cartoon show or something I watched. It's always been one of those I mean to watch it movies and I just haven't gotten around to it. But everyone tells me I should, I know, when I need to. Hopefully it's on one of the streaming services I have. Alright, let's see what this last big one is. And it's... Oh, that's Hellboy. Going to assume that's Ron Perlman's signature. But God only knows. That's cool. I like that one a lot. Man, I literally lost track of what I have and haven't opened here. I think this is the last of it. So much stuff. I don't know where I'm going to put all this. Let's see, some more trading cards. Sarah Sh Shahai. Nathan Fillion. Where has Nathan Fillion gone? And some more Doctor Who. And bonus. Huh. Facing right side up, facing right side up, oh no. Ooh, I can see who this is, and I like this. Lou Temple, Axel on The Walking Dead. Dead. Uh, he was one of the prisoners, I believe. If I'm not mistaken. At least in the comic he was. And we have... Oh, sweet! I totally cannot remember her name, but it's, um... Lady Tyrell from Game of Thrones. If you didn't see it, she was incredible. I think that's her signature. It's tough to tell. I'm assuming since she's the center one that it's her. I'm hoping it is. But yeah. That's a sweet hit. I absolutely loved her on that show. And she had probably the most badass death scene of any character ever. And we have... I don't know. I'm going to have to look so much up for this. And I think that is everything. So yeah, value-wise, I've been hearing double what you paid and... I gotta say, it's probably at least that, if not more. My only regret is I didn't know who some of the people were, but unfortunately, that's gonna happen. Yeah, I'm 
so much good stuff in here. Absolutely love getting her. I love the Walking Dead ones. That Hulk Hogan is such an iconic beast. I think the only way that could be more iconic is if he was slamming Andre the Giant in the photo. But yeah. Probably my favorite of that. This is, like I said, sweet. I love that Bam Bam Bigelow's back there, too. I love him. So yeah, this is the Marcos is Crazy box. I kind of agree. Marcos is crazy. I don't know how the heck he did all of this for, what was it, $160 or 165 This is insane. Even the people I don't know cannot be that cheap. And some of them I probably do know, I just don't recognize the signatures off the top of my head. So if you enjoyed this, I know this was a long one. It was a lot in this baby. Shoot me that thumbs up. Anything to say? Any comments on anybody I don't know? Please be kind. I don't know every movie and TV show out there. Just the good ones. But any comments on any of this, give it to me down below. You know, I love to hear from you guys. Ding that bell so you can be notified whenever my videos go live. Hit that subscribe button over here so you don't miss any videos. As always, be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. What you gonna do when Marco's Mania runs wild on you, brother?